Contact the champion. Uh, they sent me a. I want to say it's mid grade. Um, probably worth 350. I got it for 150. Um, you know, when it comes to radiators, you got to get the good stuff. I was this close to getting the $500 one, which is three core. But these are newer technology with the two core, so kind of hoping it'll cool enough. Plus, I have a fan. My engine doesn't run too hot, so I have some room. Uh, my engine never overheats unless I'm on the highway with my C4 for like hours, uh, which, you know. Shows me that if you're overheating at high RPMs, you don't have enough radiator, you know, so I'm hoping that'll solve it. So on a hot day or normal driving, it's showing signs of uh, heading south. So I went ahead and got this. I'm hoping this uh, two core champion, you know, name brand hopefully holds up to its to its name. Let's start the dismantling. Obviously you start by draining the plug. Okay, so um, if you guys clicked on this because you've never installed a radiator, um, you obviously start by uh, <clears throat> turning the drain plug, so righty loosey, lefty tighty. Uh, definitely loosen the cap after you've uh, loosened the drain plug as it allows uh, air in so then it flows faster. Also a good time to replace the hoses. Uh, this one actually just failed on me, so it was an odd timing. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and bought a new kit. So I'm gonna cut these off and remove the fan. This fan is a uh, eBay find. I thought I would have like trouble with them or something, but to be honest with you, I don't. This thing runs great. The transmission lines, uh, if stock, it's five eighths, half on the other end. Hold the big end, rotate the half, because um, you'll just be twisting the line, so. On the stock bolts, you will need a half inch socket or wrench. All my lines are off, all my hoses are off. Now to remove the last two bolts. Oh yeah, don't forget your drain. <laughs> Okay, so obviously width is the only thing I really care about. Again, I already checked the measurements online, but I'm gonna check them again. Uh, we've got four oblong holes here, um, which would, supposed to be about 28 and a half inches uh, from, at least that's the measurement I get off of the old radiator on the core support. So let's see if it matches here. That shows roughly the center of this oblong hole. And it's roughly 28 and a half. So since they're oblong um, and they're not uh, precise, looks like I might have a little bit of leeway there where I won't have to drill anything out. And it looks like the bottom ones are the same measurement. Cool. So at least on the width, it should be fine. So the height me measurement, now I just measured, uh, you know, from the bottom to the top here. Uh, it was 24 and a half on the stock and this is 20 about 25 and a fourth so it doesn't stick up out of the bottom or out of the top uh, too much higher than um, than the stock one so the champion I'll put the part number up 
uh, definitely the ones that look like they're gonna fit. So let's see if it's uh, if it's true here. Measurement says it is, so you know how it goes. Put it in there and you hit roadblock, so. Time for install. Sucker's light as a feather. like lower. Notice that? So I installed them with uh, two loose bolts up top. Uh, my uh, radiator core support is original this truck and when I bought it, it had like a bit of a the rest of it was straight just right there so my side of my radiator kicks out a bit so that was interesting but top two bolts and then I they're oblong holes so I slid it around until each one was happy. And I saw it, I like how low it sits. It's interesting that it's pivoting like right here, but this whole thing's turning. This truck is just jerry rigged, man. How do you guys like the double chin view? Better wear your safety glasses. It's falling on me. We'll see how lucky I am, but these all rotated up here at the connections, right? So <laughs> I got lucky that the fittings fit. I did check it out. The thread, um, the thread count kind of kind of escapes me, but these fit. Um, this truck wasn't originally an automatic, so I think these are off of like a early 70s bump. So, cool. Booyah! Now the radiator hoses. Went ahead and hooked up the radiator hose here at the bottom um, of the water pump. Tightened it up pretty good. Gonna tighten up again. summer. Two, I don't know if these hoses are going to hold. <laughs> Three, I've got to redo it all anyway when I get new hoses. And honestly, when I change the hoses out, I need to flush it out again anyway. So. Okay guys, so I've driven it a few times. Um, it's really held up pretty good haven't had any real issues it is doing its job and the only two hiccups I've even had or when I installed it both the top and the bottom um, inlets or outlets aren't the same diameter as the stock radiator so the stock hoses uh, I have to make shift this um, I'd give you the measurements, but the reality is maybe if you have something bigger than a 302, <laughs> um, you know, and then you get stock hoses for an FE or a 460 or, you know, even an M series, um, might be a different situation. But for my 302, I had issues with this. I'm looking for kits. Um, this is a good excuse to find some shiny or maybe even like a nice black uh, sort of universal hose or hose 
sheath or something like that so um but and then the other one was this right here for some reason it was not thread sealed so i had to loosen it up and thread seal it so so other than that totally happy with it i'm um, glad i did it it was time anyway it went on easier it's light as a feather the engine bay's dirty but hey i used my truck you know